everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. So I've got another fun fold card for this year's creative card series, and this is a double gatefold card. So it's a six by six card, fits nicely into an envelope, and then when you open it up, you get this. So it's a really nice card if you want to maybe add photos, because you've got all these panels, but you can also create really nice scenes, which is what I've tried to do here. So I'm really pleased with how this has come together. I've got this nice kind of wooden bunting. I did initially plan on having it go right across the middle, but it just didn't didn't quite work right. So this time I've just done it going along the sides there. But if I just bring them up there, you can see that wood effect. It's really, really nice. And then all this I fussy cut from the Paper Addicts uh, Retro Days paper pack. And then I've got this lovely butterfly. It's one of my acetate ones. And then inside I've got that really nice sentiment and another little butterfly. And then on the back, you've got plenty of room to write your message. And I've just used this wishing you the, wishing you a day of happiness. <laughs> so yeah, it's really, really nice, really fun to make. So let me show you how. Okay, so I've already gone ahead and prepared most of it because I'll talk you through it all, but it's pretty self-explanatory. So here is my bunting. It's really, really cool. And it starts off life like this. So I shared this in my unboxing of my latest Trimcraft design team package. It's just these wooden buntings. So you get 100 pieces. I will link them below. And then all I've done is I grabbed my Arteza marker. This was the turquoise colour. And I've got one here just to show you. I'd already done a few. I ended up doing too many, but it doesn't matter. But you just draw straight over it. And you can also use embossing powder and sprinkle your, um, you know, put a Versamark on it and then sprinkle your embossing powder over the top and heat set it. That works really well, you can paint them, but they do take well to the, the marker as well. So that's what I've used there. So I just created this with them. I've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 11. I may need to add an extra one on. And when you're threading them through, whatever end, you know, you're using, just put some glue on the end, let it dry hard and that bit there is, quite um, stiff so it allows you to be able to thread them through. You can then thread it through really easily so you don't get any fraying or anything like that. So yeah and I've just used this is just some of this um, well this is really old we are memory keepers really old and <laughs> they call it floss but it's just baker's twine. So that's that piece done. Then you will need to decide what pattern papers you're going to use. So I'm using the new Retro Days by Paper Addicts. Again, I shared this as part of my Trimcraft design team package. This is one of six in the new release. And I just love the color palette of this. I just think it's really, really nice. So I'll go through the papers that I've used from that pack. And I've also made this topper, which is gonna to be on the inside center part. And this is this one here, which is a Do Crafts Let's Celebrate stamp. And I picked this up from the works online for a pound. I'm sure it was the works. Again, I'll link it below, but it's such a lovely stamp. You can see there how it's come out. So that's what I've used there. So you want two pieces of cardstock that are 12 by six. Okay, so I cut a piece of 12 by 12 in half and that gave me these two pieces. And then on each one, you want to score at three inches. Okay, and at six inches. Then flip it over and score again at three and six. It's just easier to do it this way because you're going to do a concertina fold. So once you've done that, you want to fold your six inch so it's a mountain and then your three inch so it's a valley. Okay, and you'll have basically a Z fold card. That's what you're making. And you want to do that with the other one. So you'll have two like this and then you just turn one around like so. Okay, and then this one or that one, doesn't matter, is going to sit on top of the other. Now, whatever one does sit on top, what you will find is, because you're folding this piece over, it kind of gets pushed slightly to over this side. So if I bring it up, and I line this all up, uh, like so. If I go to close this all up, you'll see that it doesn't quite join in the middle, and you'll see on the back that this overhangs more. What you want to do is the one that you're putting on the top, you don't have to do this, but if you do want more of a flush finish, this one that's on the top, grab a trimmer and pop it in and just take a slither off. And when I mean a slither, I mean like a couple of millimetres, if that. You can see there, just the tiniest amount. And that will just allow you, so again, this is the one now that I'm keeping to go on the top. When that goes in, it now is all nice and flush on the side and I've got a better close there. 
Okay, so that's what you will have. So once we stick that one on top, you'll see now our card, how it's going to pop out. And that is a six by six size that's going to fit in your envelope. Then you want two pieces of pattern paper that are five and three quarters by five and three quarters. One is going to be for the back with this piece on top, which is where you're going to write your message. This white piece is five and a half by five and a half. I'd already stuck that down and stamped it. And the stamp I use there is, is this one here. And again, you're going to see this used loads because it's just, well, it's just coming in very handy. And it's only two pound on Amazon, it's a bargain. So again, I'll link it below. But this is the Dovecraft General Stamps. And I've just used the Wishing You a Day of Happiness. And there's my other patterned ones. Like I said, two patterned ones at five and three quarters by five and three quarters. And then you want your decorative side panels. So I've got these ones that are gonna be on the front ones that you see when it comes out. And then these are on the side pieces. They all measure the same. So which is two and three quarters by five and three quarters. Okay, so all the same there. And one of them I've already gone decorated and I'll just talk you through that with these bits here. So in that pack, I just fussy cut, one of the pages has just got all these flowers and stuff on, so I just went and fussy cut them, and then one of the pages is this, and I just cut some of those little flowers there. And then I've just created this kind of little scene here. So what I've done is with the same ink that I've used to stamp my Let's Celebrate, I've just added some to this block here, and then I'm just gonna add a tiny, oops, tiny little bit of water on top and I've got a paintbrush there ready for when I need it. So first of all I've got this here and it's just how I cut my grass whenever I'm doing grass trim so it's two and three quarters and then whatever height you want it to be and then you just cut into it with your scissors and then I'm going to stick that one down use some of this glue here along the bottom first again it's optional it depends what scene you're doing what theme your card is going to be so I'm just going to stick that one along the bottom there and then I'll start sticking these down and the reason I've done this is just to create little stems on the flowers now I know stems well stems can be whatever color you want so that's why I'm doing them this orange but it just ties everything together but you can see this flower here right now it just looks like it's floating I'm just going to lift that bit of grass up slightly there and then just come in with my paintbrush and just draw in a little kind of stem and then push that back down again. I can go over that and make it darker if I want but it, again you'll see this better in the photos but it just kind of, I don't know, I like it and that's what it's all about so just play around and decide what it is you want to do but you just want to start laying all these bits down to create like a little cluster of flowers so I'm just going to quickly do this one here Okay, so those two are now all done. I've got my bunting, obviously the topper, that's all ready. So now you want to go back to your card base and you want to stick whatever one you trimmed slightly is going to go over the top. So for this one, I'm going to use my Kalau glue and I'm just going to cover the back. Okay, so now you've got this big double gatefold card. So next, I'm going to stick my patterned one down in the middle like so. I'm going to stick these pieces which are going to go on both of my fronts and then these pieces are going to go on the sides and my back piece as well. So I'm going to go and get that all stuck down. Okay, so my intention was to have the bunting kind of draping across the middle, but it just wasn't working and this just wasn't hanging properly. So what I'm now doing is little sections, but I just thought actually I could have just done that all as one and just left a little bit of a kind of gape just so that it had enough to bend, the string had enough time, you know, to be able to bend around that corner, but it's fine. So what I'm doing is I've just, what I would say is wrap it around those two, but I'm now going to stick this one like that. So it's the same on that one, and then I'm gonna do the same on that one there as well. There you go, I'm much, much happier with that. So now I've just 
looped under the string there and again there you can see just so it's able to kind of bend around so you can have it really stretched out like this it looks really I mean that's the profile it looks so pretty I might continue the grass around here now as well I think once you start to play around because obviously I intended for it to be like that first of all but now that that's more on show I think maybe doing the grass there as well anyway there's so many options and ideas you know on how to display and decorate this but yeah, I really like it and I hope you do too. All folds up really nicely. I've added that butterfly there and also on the back there as well, just to again add a little bit more texture. Again, I'm still in two minds whether to add a little something on the front there as well because it's got let's celebrate and also in this pack you get this sheet here. So I'm just thinking, I'm thinking of adding one of these but I'm it's almost a bit big for the space that I have, so I'm actually going to cut into this just for you. But then I don't know if that's really what I would put with birthday card, which is what this now is. I do like it small, or I might... No, I don't like any on the front. I think it needs to be like a, a longer kind of sentiment, but I do like this little heart, so I'm going to stick it just there. I think that just adds another little element to it. I like that. Right, now I'm done. <laughs> there you go, there is my double gatefold card and I really love it. I think it's so cute. I think I just really love the colours. It's just something different to work with. I love the wooden bunting. I think that's really come together nicely. And yeah, you'll see in the pictures if I decided to add the grass in there or not, but I do really like that print, so I'm not sure. But there you have it. So I hope you like this other card for this year's creative card series. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.